Hi there, I'm back to have another flick through another book and this is the third and the last one that I've got by Gordon Benningfield. Um, if you've seen the other two today, we've done the poems of the countryside and we've done Benningfield's wand Woodlands and this is Green and Pleasant Land, country of an Englishman's countryside. So I'm just going to flip So this is the second one, <coughs> um, this came out first and then this one came came out second. So it's illustrations taken from all the previous um, Benningfield's titles and again there's 128 pages. I bought this from Amazon UK <coughs> and at the time it was £2.54. And that was with postage crazy okay so it's going to be the same size as the last one and that's 10 inches wide by just under seven so let's have have a look in in here um again the <coughs> the dust cover on this is a little bit creased and that but that really doesn't doesn't matter to me um got some lovely pencil drawings here of some thistles let's um let's take that off because it's obviously shining in in the light so i'll have a look i've got lots of tells you who's wrote the poems so i've got some horses here and some cows in the background nice circle one there and like in the other one what i said you can always cut these circles out back it with something and that could be in the center of your signature i think that would be fabulous or it could go on the front of a, a cover you could fold that one in half cut it out and have it as some kind of tuck Okay, that's that one that's beautiful so again like we said in the other these pages folded in half and sewn in so on one side you'd see that and on the other side you'd see that and then you would see that and you would see that I'd say I'd probably cut uh, the white off but I mean you could always put if you didn't put washi tape on or because then you would make it quite small you could always oh no if you back that you'd lose you'd lose the image wouldn't you i don't know could you put a frame around there it, for me obviously I'm, I'm not a great lover of uh white so yeah i'm sure you could come up with something to to make it make it bigger another lovely circle there and cut those elements out got the nice wren so yeah i'd probably use that as a journal card you're gonna lose some of some of the back images obviously you can use all the all the poetry great for backgrounds of of things and it's great <coughs> great paper if there's any that you're not that keen on you know collage over the top of it because it's really nice paper nice blossoms or oh, another circle that would look fabulous wouldn't it in the in the middle of a signature oh look at these we've seen this picture in the um the woodlands one we had the massive um one of that beautiful it's nice to have that smaller one you could make that into a notebook cover Oh, it goes in thingy, doesn't it? So that is all about dandelions. Is it going in alphabetical order? I don't know. This is all trees, butterfly. That's a nice piece. Make that into a tag, or back it and have it in as a as a tuck, same as this one with the daisies. Another circle piece beautiful picture there and that buzzy bee 
again you could make that smaller make it into a nice journal card another circle being spoiled with these circles lovely dab rays oh I love that I really love that oh my goodness Thatch roof, how beautiful! I don't see many of those <laughs> those around. When we did go to um, Devon on holiday, um, the village that we drove through, it got a house with a thatch roof. But yeah, you don't see them very often now at all. So these ones, well, I haven't got a picture at the back. I would probably make them into some kind of folding uh, piece probably cover that over um, with just some brown paper or something maybe have some pockets or just have it as a writing spot nice journal card <laughs> another circle it's funny how you look at books isn't it now <laughs> it's like what could I do with that it's got a nice oval that sky beautiful that's very nice they cowbells I think they're cowbells oh that's lovely the wagon maker yeah I love that a nice windmill lovely pencil drawer in there Nice horse. Another cloud. Lovely colours, aren't they? <clears throat> oh, look at that one. Oh, my favourite birds, goldfinches. It's beautiful. So, yeah, get that on either side. Yeah, they're my favourite birds and we do get them on the garden and we do think there's there's a nest. Um, so yeah, oh, they make the most beautiful sound. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And the flying like that, you can, when they're high up in the air, because they're, they're quite small birds, so they look really small, uh, but you can tell with the way they bounce, they like bounce, that's beautiful. Yes, I'd like to stay there too. <laughs> oh, look at this fox. <laughs> it's very nice. Very nice in a harvest um, kind of journal. wouldn't uh, some kind of talk beautiful owl I think they're going to be harder to use because obviously you can't really but you know you could take it take it down or you could fussy cut if you just wanted wanted the owl and you could lay it over another picture say from a digital or something something that's got some greenery and that behind a tree Lovely sheep in the snow. But again, I absolutely love the colours that he uses. So muted, really up my street. It's beautiful. And again, it's sewn in, so it'll be really easy to, to take apart and we won't be ruining any any pages. So that is is that one, and that's the last one from uh, Gordon Benningfield that, that I have. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow with three different uh, books. I think we've got um, ooh, a countryside one, 
a botanical one and a bird one so i'm looking forward to having a, a flip through of those so i shall see you tomorrow thanks for joining me bye for now